Are you still in your towel? You wish. <laughs> what do you mean I wish? Excuse me, sir. Am I gonna cheat on the prince? What is going on? Hey guys, it's the Gaming Raven and welcome to my channel. So I am back on episode I Married a Prince. In the last episode, we found out that we are the family betrothed to marry the prince. So I don't know, maybe in this episode we'll marry him. I don't know what's gonna go on. We don't need a recap. We already know. If you haven't checked out my first episode, you should definitely do that before you start this one. But let's go ahead and get on with the story. Here we go. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Prince, must we go through with this? You don't have a choice, son. Especially not after what was written in that betrothment. Our family's honor is on the line here, and only you can protect it. We should have covered this up while we could. What? Why, what? If you hadn't insist on landscaping the garden, the capsule wouldn't have been discovered in the first place. <gasps> Why so mean? <sighs> They're at it again. Oh my goodness. What is going on? Besides, who knows? Maybe you'll like her? Maybe? Uh, look at me. I'm such a loser. Oh my gosh, did I do something wrong? Is it bad that he was to bow sarcastically to make his point? And why does the royal family want to see me? You might want to see this. The current crown prince or princess must marry the first child born to the Alistair Fawn family. The family is in possession of a Brogham heirloom. <gasps> what? M my, my the last name is Alistair Fawn. Congratulations, Miss Fawn. You're the betrothed to His Royal Highness, Prince Theodore Brogham. The royal office will see to it that no one knows of your identity until it's publicly announced. In the meantime, the royal family has made an appropriate arrangements for you, Your Highness. What? <laughs> your Highness? She's like so scared. She's like, what? Me? <laughs> I love the close-ups. Oh my god, you just fell off just... <sighs> We got phone calls, Mrs. Fawn. About time. We were about to call you. The royal office just informed me of the betrothal. <gasps> How's Ariel handling the news? Um, she fainted in shock. <laughs> oh, she's just being such a drama queen. <gasps> Don't you mean drama princess? <laughs> what? I'm so funny. Not really. Uh, what? Sorry, too soon. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. Why am I back home? Was everything just a dream? Ariel looked down at her clothes. Knock, knock. Come in. Are you feeling better? What's going on? Before your dad passed away, he handed me a box with a silver ring in it. Said it had been passed down from generations of fawn and that I had to protect it with my life. I didn't think much of it at first, but I just dug it up from my closet and... <gasps> you don't mean... I checked. There's Brogham engraved on the ring. <gasps> oh my goodness, I can't marry someone I don't know. We're living in the 21st century. <gasps> Why are the betrothals still here? What? It doesn't matter if he's the prince. I barely even know him. The closest I got to him was today, but th th that's not enough for me to spend the rest of my life with him. Yes, you go, girl. I can't go through with this. It was a royal engagement set by our ancestors. Oh my goodness, my phone's going off. Let me just take this call. Miss Ariel Alistair Fawn? That would be me. Uh, it's Ariel, the royal secretary. I hope you're feeling better. We barely had a chance to speak today, but I would like to send my invitations to you and your royal family to the annual royal gala tomorrow. The, 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 the annual royal gala? The one held in the palace where celebrities and royals from other countries would gather? Yes, that's right. The royal family doesn't just invite anybody to there, but they're simply too excited to meet you. They would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to everyone, so you're practically our guest of honor. Oh my goodness, a chauffeur will pick you up tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm honored about that betrothal. That will be all. See you tomorrow. Bye. She does not look happy. Oh my gosh, do you see how angry I am? The royal family invited us to the annual royal gala tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Where am I? What? Oh! What is going on? Ariel, we meet again. Quick question though. What are you wearing? <laughs> what do you mean what about- <gasps> What? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh 
Oh my god, that was a nightmare. It was just a dream. I was wearing a clown outfit. What kind of shorts are those, girl? Maybe this time I'm finally awake and everything happened was just a dream. Yay! That chauffeur will be here soon, kiddo. Are you ready? So much for hoping. Oh man. Kiddo, I was thinking about this all night. This whole situation is crazy and I know you're upset, but let's put all of that away and focus on the bright side. We just got invited to the annual Royal Gala. I've only ever read about it on the papers. I never thought I would be able to attend this in my lifetime. Oh my goodness. We might even get a chance to speak with the king and queen about the betrothal there. Plus, I even got you a cute dress on such short notice. Oh, mom, you shouldn't have. Be there with an open mind, kiddo. I'll be there for you no matter how crazy, how much crazy is thrown in our way. It'll be fun. And I just know you're going to look beautiful. Your dad would flip if he knew his little princess was attending a ball in the palace. Oh, oh my goodness. I'll leave you to get dressed. Okay, thanks, Mom. Mom is right. Betrothal aside, it's kind of the royal family to oh, it's kind of the royal family to invite us to the gala. And one thing's for sure, that nightmare is sure not a dream I hope would come true. Which should I wear? Well, an old dress of yours or the royal dress? What would happen if I choose this? Oh, I don't even like that. No, I don't even like that. Go back. Go back to that. Yeah, try something else. Try an old dress. That's not even a dress. No. But is that my only option? Hold on, let me just check. And oh, that's not a dress. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go with it. Okay, these heels are a little too big for me, but I look fabulous, I guess. <laughs> You're not wearing a dress though, I'm just saying. That was false advertisement. Ooh, we got a fancy limo up in here. See, my mom looks so much better than me. Look, she's actually wearing like a little black dress, looking fancy, got those earrings. Look at me, I look like a total mess. You're doing all right there, kiddo. You look deep in thoughts. I'll do fine, mom. I have you. What could go wrong? Alrighty, here we go. We got the paparazzi up there here taking five million pictures. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am not prepared for this. I am not prepared. We got Jasmine and Aladdin up in here. Oh my goodness. What is going on? Wow, I look awful. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> What's happened? There she is. Uh, our future princess. Oh my goodness. What? Uh, I look awful. And they're taking me, taking five billion pictures of me. Oh my goodness, help. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Is that the end of the story? That better not be the end of the story. It is. What? What? We gotta start episode three. We don't need a previous recap because we just did this. We just got started on with the story. We gotta see what's going on. I am here at the party. Well, we weren't expecting all of this. <laughs> what? Mrs. and Miss Fun. Uh, this way, please. Oh my goodness. What is going on? What is going on? Oh, okay. Fancy. Oh, we got fancy people happening. Who's this? Is this a girl that is mad jealous of me because I am the one to get married, not her? Excuse me, ma'am. Okay, everybody looks super fancy up in here. All right, we got lots of couples and I am single. So like, I don't have nobody with me. That's a lot of people. Oh, we're expecting more. Okay, they're just talking and I'm just in shock. Look at me. There's too many people. I'm sure they're all here to see me, the mysterious girl in the betrothal. I need some fresh air. I can't deal with this. Oh my God, did I just run away? Um, uh, mom? Kiddo, where are you going? Uh-oh, did I run away? <gasps> oh my gosh, what? He'll be a rather important character in the story? Am I gonna cheat on the prince? What is going on? What? Choose how he looks wisely. Oh, um, hello, sir. What's his first name? His first name is gonna be Chad because Chad. All right, what would you like to change? Nothing, you know what? He looks perfect, I don't even care. Honestly, I don't know who this is. He looks like Chad already, kind of. Uh, this looks like a good room to hide in. What? Uh, do you not see a naked man right here? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I didn't know someone was in the room. I'll just be leaving now. Hey, wait up. Oh. 
I'm so sorry. Why are you still shirtless? Uh, I, I, I didn't see anything, I promise. Uh, uh, you're that Alistair Fawn girl, right? Are you still in your towel? You wish. <laughs> what do you mean I wish? Excuse me, sir. You wish. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could feel his hot breath trail down my neck as he cooed those words into my ear. <gasps> Whoa. Um, are we gonna get caught with this guy here? What are you doing in a guest room when the gala is held in the ballroom? Enjoying a private tour of the palace? Uh, you're freaking out, aren't you? Kind of. Why are you still shirtless though? Yes, I'm freaking out. It's not every day someone just wakes up and learns that she's betrothed to a prince she barely knows. Not to mention having to attend a gala when all she really wants to do right now is curl up in bed with her dramas. Betrothal or not, right now, I just don't want to make a fool out of myself in front of everybody. Not with everyone watching me. Honestly, the royal family can be hard to please sometimes. But I have some advice that's sure to win them over. And I wouldn't mind spending a few more minutes with you. Uh, no thanks, I'm good. It's fine, I can handle this on my own. I'm good, Chad. Chill out. Anywho, I think you have to, a gala to attend. Yeah, I do. Right, and I just abandoned my mom in there. <gasps> Thanks for hearing me out. Who are you? <laughs> I don't think she knows his name. Please don't tell anyone about this. I don't think. Secret safe with me. <gasps> what? Oh my goodness. Oh, she's cute. <gasps> oh my gosh. Is he gonna ruin the wedding? I feel like he's gonna ruin the wedding. Sorry, Bob. I needed some time alone to call myself. It's all right, kiddo. I understand. Um, oh, oh, <laughs> Mrs. and Ms. Alice, they're fun. Why is she looking so bad? Oh, uh, hi. Um, uh, <laughs> hello. Uh, what do we, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Are you here to attend a luncheon or did both of you get lost on your way to a 50s dress up party? <gasps> Excuse me, uh, ma'am. How rude. How rude. You dress good. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm so glad you could join us today. Well, I'm so sorry if we're not rich like you. Like, seriously. Prince is caught up with some work at the moment, but he'll be here as soon as he's done. It's nice to finally meet you, Ariel. I willed myself to take a step forward to at least shake his hand instead of just standing there dumbfounded. It's nice to- Whoa! Did I fall? As usual. Got you. <gasps> the prince! Oh my goodness, look at him. <gasps> and there he was. Prince, prince. <laughs> prince, prince. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, literally sweeping me off my clumsy feet. That man that I'm betrothed to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> His name is Prince Prince. That's great. That is great. Thanks. This wouldn't be your first time falling for me, so I'm prepared this time. <laughs> wow. I think you mean falling on you, as our parents engage in conversations of their own. Prince leaned in closer. His voice was husky and low as he whispered. And so we meet again, Ariel. I wouldn't have expected myself to meet the fawn descendant before the announcement. Is that what you'd like to call destiny? Uh... I guess about that oh oh ah prince <clears throat> just in time perhaps you would like to lead ariel for a closing dance before we adjourn everyone to the dining hall for lunch ah uh, brother <laughs> um sure <laughs> i can't dance for anything yeah me either oh my gosh you're so accurate to me prince broke into a boyish grin as he held out his arm for me i'll lead okay mr perfect over here Oh my goodness, seriously. All right, here we go. I'm bored of you. I'm really, really bad at this. Trust me. Okay. Uh, put your arms around me. Oh my God. As I hesitated to reach out for him, Prince wrapped his arms around my waist and pulled me closer to him. Oh my goodness, despite my refusal at the metropole, it was hard to deny that Prince Prince was an attractive man. He had the kind of face you would read about in pr of princesses and fairy tales, that well-defined jawline complemented by those mesmerizing yet mysterious eyes. Despite his beautiful features, his body was toned as he held me in his arms, gently swaying to the music. 
We barely knew each other, yet the spark between us was not to be denied. Between the shy glances cast at each other, over the ginger touch of her fingertips, my body melted into his as we lost ourselves to the music. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're actually dancing. <gasps> what just happened? What happened? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to step on your foot. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be so me. It's okay, second time's the charm. Oh my goodness, I just hurt the prince. Oh my god, what is going on? Please don't mess this up again. She messed it up again. Did she? Oh, <laughs> it's fine. Oh my God, I feel so bad. I'm all right. Uh, um, this is not working out, Prince Prince. <laughs> In fact, let's just skip the dance and talk about the betrothal. <sighs> what do you think? You look like you're about to have a heart attack. Deep breaths, Ariel. <sighs> oh, bad. What is going on? We haven't formally introduced ourselves. Hi there, Prince Theodore Brogham, Crown Prince of Genova. Uh, I'm Ariel Alistair Fawn, commoner of the Fawn's household. <laughs> oh my goodness. Al Ariel Alistair Fawn, will you marry me? <gasps> what? What? Oh, already? Oh my god! He just he just straight up just asked me to marry him right there at right then and there. Oh my goodness, you guys! What? Are they actually I don't know if she's gonna say yes. I mean they're kind of being forced to, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe in the next episode they will actually get um engaged. But this game has been pretty interesting so far. I hope that you guys have been enjoying it. And if you would like to see more, definitely let me know in the comments down below. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. And if you're new, subscribe to become a mermaid or a merman. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.